We're with our featured resident of the month here at Governor's Ridge in Decatur. And this month, we had a really special treat. Donald Brown, uh, who's been here at the facility, what did you tell me, Donald, about a year and a half? A year and a half, yes. Uh, is, is, uh, is our guest today. And Donald, you're wearing uh, a vest with some really interesting patches and medals, as well as your uh, cap, which says World War II, as our, as our viewers can see, a World War II veteran. So you spent, what, three, four years in the service during World War II? Oh, I was uh, four years in the service, yes. I, I, uh, uh, we trained here in the United States and then went overseas, and, uh, and we were there before D-Day. As a matter of fact, uh, uh, they were looking at a uh, uh, general uh, uh, Patton had had a big uh, look down in uh, North Africa with troops, mm -hmm. and he was everybody's wondering when where what he was going to do in the D-Day operation, and he was he was actually in England, and I heard him make that speech if you saw the movie. Because Did indeed. He made that in a little theater to the officers in our division, and I think he made that same speech about four times, four different divisions. And he made a pretty salty address for us. As I have a thing here, that get a little book that says about his uh, speech, but he didn't mention the part that I heard and was impressed with. Like he, he says, when you meet, attack the enemy, he says, turn on your firepower. And if that doesn't make them run, fix your bayonets and start and after them so-and-sos and, and rip their guts out. If they turn and run, stick them in the ass. <laughs> You've even met or, or, or been in the presence of several presidents of the United States. Going back to who? The, the presidents I've seen? Oh, well, let's see. The first one was, uh, well... I remember that uh, President Wilson, when I was just a youngster uh, at his death, and I think it was about 1918, I'm not sure. Uh, but uh, then the, the next one, uh, well, I took, um, uh, well, when I was graduating from high school, I uh, saw President Hoover. And then after that, I went to school down at A&M, Texas A&M, and uh, uh, took a picture of Franklin Roosevelt when he was down there. And... Uh, you mentioned John Kennedy. And then John K Kennedy. I was working in Dallas after I uh, 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 got a job with Lone Star Gas in Dallas. And went. And uh, he was coming to town, and he came down Harwood Street and turned on Main. And I was at that corner when he turned, and I uh, saw President Kennedy at that time, waved at him, and then went down to the library on my way back to the office. And... Uh, they said that the president has been shot, and that was, a, that was a terrible time. And my brother was in the FBI down there in Dallas, and he was who, who made that, I forget the name of the investigation for the government, about it says, this would be kind of like President uh, Lincoln. There'll be all kinds of theory going on about it. That's not true. But says this one says there was no other government involved in this murder at all or this assassination. It was one independent nut, and that was Lee Harvey Oswald. 